um, tell us a little bit about the GBEDP that you have been involved with for an, a few years now, really. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've been involved with the GBDP since I think maybe 2015, 2016. So um, b b before that, there was GB junior programmes, but nothing quite so full on. So um, and the GBEDP is basically the programme just below the senior programme. So there was a bit of a gap identified with junior players coming into the programme, not really being able to cope from going being completely amateur to being a full time athlete. So they brought in the EDP to bridge that gap a little bit. So um, there's basically 35 athletes um, they can be any age, but normally under 23 on the programme. And we would have one to two camps a month, which are residential camps. Um, normally Bisham Abbey, Lillishall, um, Loughborough University. And um, yeah, and um, there's the head coach, John Bleeby, and then over the past, um, we've had a little bit of change. Coaches has been uh, myself, who's been there through the whole time, and then Zach Jones, who's now working with the senior men, and Quan Brown also with the GB senior men, and Barry Middleton's now involved, and um, Ali McGregor, another Scottish coach, is involved as well. So, but um, yeah, we basically have a couple of camps a month. Uh, the normally uh, residential camps, we have roughly four hockey sessions on the camp, varying intensities, normally some s and for actually the camp this month, they're doing some cooking lessons as well. So it's a bit of a um, prepare all program for physically preparing the guys for doing really well at international level, but also um, getting them prepared in all areas, I guess, physically, mentally, um, off the pitch as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been involved in that as an assistant coach. Yeah, I honestly can't remember what year I started. <laughs> yeah, probably was about 2015, I think, yeah. That's cool. And um, and from that, you've you've just been away with the GB um, senior men's squad. So again, just a, a, a little bit around that, if possible. Yeah, so I guess um, I'd helped out um, there was a talent confirmation period after the Tokyo Olympic Games. So there was, um, I think, five or six camps, male and female. So um, I'd been down helping with those before Christmas. Um, and then um, due to circumstances, they were short of a coach in January for the um, tour to Spain. So I was invited along to that, having worked again. Uh, I would say probably through having worked quite an extended period within Great Britain hockey um, has been really helpful. I've worked with Zach Jones, who was the senior interim coach at the time and still is. So um, I was asked to go to Spain for the tour. So it was a bit of a last minute thing. I was asked on the Friday and we left the following Thursday. So a little bit of negotiation with my home life. But, um, but no, it was all fine. It was a great opportunity to go away with the squad. And um, actually, having been involved in the Great Britain Junior stuff, I knew the majority of the players as well. So I think one of the real successes of the EDP has been how many players now are really transferring into the senior squad. That's always been the case, but really able to cope and make an impact. So we must have had, I wouldn't like to guess, but they must have, say there was a squad of 30 players. I coached over the past, well, at least, 20 of those players so you know a lot of players coming through a lot of good young players and and actually on the tour we played five matches two against holland three against spain uh, we drew with holland twice beat spain twice and lost once now although they were friendly matches what it did kind of really show was um that actually once the players come in they are international ready i guess so that was you know one, it was really cool for me to be involved. Uh, great to be involved with a lot of players that I know. It's always still a little bit uncomfortable, I guess, working with a team that you, you don't normally work with. And then um, I guess getting used to their terminology and language. It's not that you're not trying to score a goal or stop a goal, but the terminology and language is normally a little bit different. But um, no, it was, um, it was a really um, fantastic tour. And then I was given, I was uh, lucky to be given quite a bit of responsibility from Zach particularly looking at the defensive side of things. Um, so no, um, no, it was a really cool experience, actually. And um, yeah, I was really delighted to be asked to be involved. That's cool. And what would you say is the biggest benefit from for your coaching, having been involved in, in that kind of 
the setup, the um, the level of competition. So, is there things that you're thinking about now for 21s or to talk to Derek yeah. Brown, senior men? Yeah, I think there's loads of things. I think um, one thing is just a level of consistency. So, it's really important to me. So, one of the goals of the under 21 men's program is to get players into Great Britain programs, able to get to the highest level, Great Britain senior. Um, so, being involved in those programs is fantastic because you get to see what the standards are. Again, a little bit around the terminology and um, how their camps run, the intensity on and off the pitch and all, um, and all that kind of stuff. So um, all that's really, really beneficial. And I think there's two things. One is that I've definitely learned absolutely loads from being involved. And it's really helped me to become a better coach. I would definitely say, I mean, like you get to work with um, uh, top coaches, obviously there's John Woody, but it's Zach and Quan as well, who have both gone on to coach with the senior team. So um, so I'm normally in each camp, you'll all run a session, you know, so like you get responsibility for leading on a certain area. So that's great to get that responsibility. And then on top of that, you're getting to see what the other coaches are doing and kind of help with them. So, so yeah, and I think there's loads of events. It's benefits to me personally, and then definitely bringing that back to Scottish hockey. It's influenced, um, I would say, it's kind of both ways. It's definitely areas I've influenced what they do, you know, um, and it's definitely areas where they've really influenced what I do, how I run my camps, um, you know, the types of sessions we do. I would say I've always had my own ideas about my style of play, but then integrating some of the areas that they're doing that could be really helpful for our guys when they trial. So I think um, over the years we've done, yeah, We've had lots of guys that have done really well and got involved. But if I look back to, say, 2014, when I first started, um, we probably only had a couple of Scottish guys involved. Fast forward to this year, there's seven Scottish juniors in the programme. So that's absolutely down to the players. But I think we've been able to create a good environment for them where they're able to succeed and show the best they can. So I think there's a bit of both, definitely. Yeah, 